Greetings everyone. I am a financial expert with a decade's worth of experience in helping individuals transform their financial lives. Over the years, I've observed a consistent pattern, a distinctive mindset that separates those who attract wealth from those who struggle with money. Today, we're venturing on a journey to explore this fascinating concept. We'll unravel the intricate connection between money mindset, abundance, and entrepreneurial thinking. So what does it mean to have a money mindset and how does it intertwine with abundance and entrepreneurial thinking? These are some of the questions we'll be exploring. We'll demystify these concepts, delve into their essence, and illuminate how they can transform your financial reality. So sit back, relax, and immerse yourself in this enlightening journey. Let's challenge our perspectives, break down limiting beliefs, and equip ourselves with the knowledge to attract abundance. Join me as we delve into the world of money mindsets, abundance, and entrepreneurial thinking. First, we need to understand what a money mindset is. A money mindset is essentially your unique set of beliefs and attitudes about money. It's the lens through which you view your financial world, and it influences every decision you make, from how you earn, save, spend, and invest your money. The importance of your money mindset cannot be overstated. Just as a ship's course is determined by its compass, your financial journey is guided by your money mindset. It is the compass that directs your financial decisions, your behaviors, and ultimately, your outcomes. Now let's talk about the impact of your money mindset on personal and professional growth. Your beliefs about money can either propel you forward or hold you back. If you believe that money is a tool that can help you achieve your goals and dreams, you are more likely to take calculated risks, invest in yourself, and seek opportunities for growth. But if you view money as a scarce resource that's hard to come by, you might find yourself playing it safe, avoiding risks, and missing out on opportunities. Let's dive a little deeper into some common limiting beliefs related to money. You might have heard or even said things like money doesn't grow on trees, or you have to work hard to earn money. These beliefs imply that money is scarce and hard to get. They can lead to a scarcity mindset where you view life as a zero-sum game. In this game, if someone else wins or gets ahead, it means you lose or fall behind. But let's debunk these myths. Money is not inherently scarce. It is created, distributed, and circulated through our economy. It's not a fixed pie, but a constantly expanding one. And while hard work is important, it's not the only factor that determines how much money you can earn. Your income potential is also influenced by your skills, knowledge, network, and opportunities, among other things. Another damaging belief is that money is the root of all evil. This belief can lead to guilt, shame, or fear around money, which can prevent you from fully embracing and utilizing it as a tool for good. In reality, money is neutral. It's neither good nor evil. It's simply a tool that can be used for good or ill, depending on the hands that hold it. Lastly, there's the belief that rich people are greedy or unkind. This stereotype can create a subconscious fear of becoming wealthy, as nobody wants to be perceived as greedy or unkind. But the truth is, wealth doesn't change who you are. It simply amplifies what's already there. There are generous and kind-hearted wealthy people just as there are greedy and unkind people in every income bracket. Your money mindset is the foundation for your financial success. By understanding and adjusting your money mindset, you can set the stage for a more prosperous and fulfilling financial journey. So let's break free from these limiting beliefs and start cultivating a healthier, more empowering money mindset. Now let's discuss the power of abundance thinking. So what exactly is abundance thinking? It's a mindset that focuses on the limitless possibilities of life instead of dwelling on limitations. It's about believing that there's more than enough for everyone instead of seeing life as a zero-sum game where someone else's gain is your loss. Think of it this way. Imagine you're standing in a field full of wildflowers. A scarcity mindset would focus on how many flowers you can hold in your hands, but an abundance mindset? It would revel in the beauty of the entire field, recognizing that there's more than enough to go around. Now you might be wondering, how does this tie into finance? Well, an abundance mindset can have a profound impact on your financial outcomes. It encourages you to see opportunities where others see obstacles. It pushes you to take calculated risks, to invest in new ventures, and to continually seek growth. It's the mindset that allows you to see the potential in a failing business, or the value in a risky investment. Let's take a look at some real-world examples. Consider the case of an entrepreneur who starts a business in a saturated market. 
A scarcity mindset might deter them believing there's no room for another player. But an abundance mindset? It sees the potential for innovation, for offering something different, for creating a niche. This mindset allows the entrepreneur to carve out their own space in the market and ultimately to succeed. Or consider the case of an investor. A scarcity mindset might see a downturn in the market as a reason to panic and sell, but an abundance mindset sees it as an opportunity to buy shares at a discount to invest in companies with potential for long-term growth. This mindset allows the investor to make decisions that can lead to substantial financial gains in the future. But the power of abundance thinking isn't just about financial success. It's also about cultivating a sense of gratitude. Gratitude for what you have, for the opportunities that come your way, for the ability to learn and grow. This sense of gratitude can act as a powerful catalyst for abundance thinking. It shifts your focus from what you lack to what you have, from what you fear to what you aspire to. And here's the beautiful part. The more gratitude you cultivate, the more abundance you attract. It's a positive feedback loop that can transform your life, personally and professionally. It can help you attract wealth, yes, but it can also help you attract joy, fulfillment, and purpose. So how can you cultivate this abundance mindset? Start by recognizing your limiting beliefs about money and challenge them. Practice gratitude every day. Seek opportunities for growth and learning. Surround yourself with people who embody this mindset and above all, believe in the limitless potential of life. Abundance is more than just wealth. It's a mindset that can transform your life. Entrepreneurial thinking plays a crucial role in wealth creation. Let's unpack this statement by first defining what we mean by entrepreneurial thinking. It's not just about starting a business or being your own boss. Entrepreneurial thinking is a mindset, a way of approaching problems and opportunities with creativity, innovation, and a willingness to take calculated risks. It's about seeing possibilities where others see obstacles and having the courage to challenge the status quo. Entrepreneurs are, by nature, problem solvers. They look at the world around them and see opportunities for improvement, for innovation, for disruption. They don't just accept things as they are, they question, they challenge, they push boundaries. This kind of thinking is not limited to business endeavors. It can be applied to all areas of life, including personal finance and wealth creation. Here's the thing. Wealth is not just about making money. It's about creating value. And entrepreneurs excel at this. They understand that wealth creation is not a zero-sum game. It's not about taking a bigger piece of the existing pie, but rather about making the pie bigger. They focus on creating value for others, knowing that in doing so, they also create value for themselves. One of the key traits of entrepreneurial thinking is a willingness to take risks. Now this doesn't mean being reckless or irresponsible. Quite the opposite, in fact. Entrepreneurs take calculated risks. They weigh the potential benefits against the potential costs, and they're not afraid to take a leap when the odds are in their favor. This kind of risk-taking is essential for wealth creation. Without it, you're likely to stay stuck in your comfort zone, missing out on opportunities for growth and advancement. Another crucial aspect of entrepreneurial thinking is adaptability. The world is constantly changing and those who can adapt to these changes are the ones who thrive. Entrepreneurs understand this. They're not set in their ways. They're open to new ideas, new methods, new technologies. They're willing to pivot when necessary, to change course when the situation calls for it. This kind of flexibility is a huge asset when it comes to wealth creation. It allows you to seize opportunities as they arise, rather than being left behind by the march of progress. Innovation is the lifeblood of entrepreneurship. It's about coming up with new ideas, new solutions, new ways of doing things. Entrepreneurs are constantly looking for ways to improve, to innovate, to disrupt. And this kind of innovation is key to wealth creation. It's what allows you to stand out from the crowd, to offer something unique and valuable to create wealth in ways that others haven't thought of. So, how can you cultivate this entrepreneurial mindset? Start by challenging your assumptions. Question the status quo. Look for opportunities for improvement and innovation. Don't be afraid to take calculated risks. Embrace change and adaptability. And above all, focus on creating value, not just for yourself, but for others as well. Remember, wealth creation is not just about making money, it's about creating value. And the entrepreneurial mindset is all about value creation. It's about seeing opportunities, taking risks, being adaptable, and innovating. It's about challenging the status quo and pushing boundaries. 
Embrace the entrepreneurial spirit and you open the door to abundance. Changing your money mindset is possible and I'll show you how. First and foremost, it's important to understand that your current beliefs about money didn't form overnight. They're the result of years, perhaps even decades of experiences, observations, and messages you've absorbed from your environment. So, be patient with yourself. Shifting your mindset isn't a switch you can flip instantly. It's a gradual process that requires consistent effort. Now let's dive into some practical strategies. One of the most effective ways to shift your money mindset is to challenge your limiting beliefs. Ask yourself, what beliefs do I hold about money that are holding me back? Maybe you think you don't deserve to be wealthy or you believe that money is the root of all evil. Once you identify these beliefs, question them. Are they actually true? Or are they just stories you've been telling yourself? To replace these limiting beliefs, you need to cultivate new, empowering ones. This is where affirmations come in. Affirmations are positive statements that can help you overcome self-sabotaging thoughts. They might sound something like this. I am capable of creating financial abundance in my life. Or, money is a tool that allows me to live my life to the fullest. Repeat these affirmations daily, and over time, you'll start to internalize them. Another powerful strategy is visualization. Imagine what your life would look like if you had all the wealth you desired. How would you feel? What would you do? Who would you help? By visualizing this scenario regularly, you can start to align your mindset with the reality you want to create. Let's talk about a real-life example. Consider the story of Sarah, a woman who grew up in a family that constantly struggled with money. Sarah carried those financial fears into adulthood, and despite earning a good income, she always felt like she was on the brink of financial disaster. She decided to shift her money mindset by challenging her limiting beliefs, using affirmations, and practicing visualization. Today, Sarah is a successful entrepreneur who not only enjoys financial abundance but also helps others achieve the same. Setting realistic financial goals is another crucial step in shifting your money mindset. Without clear goals, it's easy to feel lost and overwhelmed. But when you have a specific target in mind, you can create a concrete plan to reach it. Your goal might be to save a certain amount of money, pay off your debt, or invest in a business. Whatever it is, make sure it's something that motivates you and aligns with your vision for your life. Once you've set your financial goals, develop a plan to achieve them. Break down your goals into smaller, manageable steps. Then take consistent action towards those steps. It's not about making huge leaps, it's about making steady progress. And remember, it's okay to adjust your plan along the way. The most important thing is to keep moving forward. In conclusion, shifting your money mindset requires challenging your limiting beliefs, cultivating empowering beliefs through affirmations and visualization, setting realistic financial goals, and developing a plan to achieve them. It's not always easy, but the rewards are well worth the effort. Remember, changing your money mindset is a journey, not a destination. It's about continuous growth and evolution. So embrace the process, celebrate your progress, and keep striving for financial abundance. You've got this. Changing your mindset is not always easy and challenges may arise. But remember, every challenge is an opportunity to grow stronger, wiser, and more resilient. One common obstacle many face while shifting their money mindset is the ingrained belief that money is scarce. This scarcity mindset can hold you back from attracting abundance. The solution? Start by recognizing that wealth is not a finite resource. There's plenty to go around. Remember, the economy isn't a zero-sum game. When someone else succeeds, it doesn't mean there's any less success available for you. Another hurdle is the fear of taking risks. Many of us have been conditioned to play it safe, to stick with what's familiar and comfortable. But the path to abundance often requires stepping outside our comfort zones. So, how do we overcome this? By reframing our perspective on failure. Rather than seeing it as a setback, view it as a learning opportunity. Each failure brings you one step closer to success. Then, there's the challenge of overcoming past negative experiences with money. Perhaps you've had financial struggles in the past, or you've seen others suffer due to poor financial decisions. These experiences can create a negative association with money that's hard to shake off. The key here is to understand that your past does not define your future. You have the power to write a new story for your financial future starting today. Lastly, it's not uncommon to struggle with the notion of deserving wealth. You might think, who am I to deserve abundance? But remember, 
you are just as deserving as anyone else. Your value isn't determined by your bank account. Start acknowledging your worth and stop downplaying your achievements. Let's wrap up with this thought. Shifting your money mindset isn't a one-time event. It's a journey. There will be setbacks and challenges along the way, but don't let these deter you. Instead, use them as stepping stones. Remember, challenges are just opportunities for growth in disguise. Let's look at some inspiring success stories. Take for instance the story of Sarah, a single mother from New York. She had always dreamed of starting her own business but was held back by a scarcity mindset. She believed she didn't have enough time, money, or skills. But after attending a seminar on abundance thinking, Sarah was able to shift her mindset. She started seeing opportunities instead of obstacles. Today, she runs a successful online boutique and has achieved financial freedom. Then we have the story of Alex, a young man from a small town. He had been working a 9-to-5 job, living paycheck to paycheck. He realized that he was stuck in a scarcity mindset, always worried about not having enough. He decided to change his mindset and started learning about entrepreneurship. Alex took the risk and started his own tech startup. Today, his company is worth millions, and he's living the life of abundance he had always dreamed of. These stories highlight the incredible power of shifting your money mindset. Sarah and Alex were just like many of us, but they managed to break free from their limiting beliefs. They embraced abundance and entrepreneurial thinking, transforming their financial situations dramatically. But remember, success didn't come to them overnight. It was a gradual process that involved changing their mindset, taking calculated risks, and staying committed to their goals. They faced challenges and setbacks, but they didn't let those deter them. Instead, they saw them as opportunities for learning and growth. These stories serve to inspire us, but they also teach us valuable lessons. They show us that changing our money mindset is not just about thinking positively, it's about adopting a proactive approach to wealth creation. It's about seeing opportunities, taking risks, and being persistent. The journey to financial abundance isn't always easy. It requires courage, determination, and a shift in mindset. But as these stories demonstrate, it's a journey that's well worth undertaking. Success is not exclusive. With the right mindset, everyone can achieve it. We've covered a lot in this video, and I hope it's been enlightening. We've delved into the importance of money mindset, understanding how it can shape our financial destiny. We've examined the power of abundance thinking, and how it contrasts with a scarcity mindset, and how gratitude can bolster this positive perspective. We've also explored entrepreneurial thinking and its role in wealth creation, highlighting the value of traits like innovation, risk-taking, and adaptability. We've offered practical strategies for shifting your mindset from scarcity to abundance and tackled common challenges you might face along the way. Now, it's your turn. Reflect on your own money mindset. What steps can you take today to foster a mindset of abundance? What entrepreneurial traits can you develop to boost your wealth creation journey? Your mindset is the key to your financial future. Thank you for joining me. Remember, your mindset is the key to your financial future. I look forward to hearing your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below.